Ray Karakuba. He's the first living designer we've displayed in a monographic exhibition since Saint Laurent in 1983. She doesn't want one grand narrative to be imposed on her work. So the actual display itself is presented as an artistic intervention. It's maze-like, almost like a playground. You're encouraged to experience it at your own pace, in your own route. When you first walk into the gallery, you'll see red ensembles from three different collections. Body meets dress, dress meets body, invisible clothes, and two dimensions. They're three expressions of how Ray blurs the boundaries between the body and dress. There's eight overarching themes or dichotomies in the exhibition. The first dichotomy is a section called design, not design, a process-driven category that looks at Ray's modes of expression, the idea of the unfinished, the idea of asymmetry, the idea of elimination, and the technical light motifs in her work, notions of fusion, notions of juxtaposition. Fashion anti-fashion looks at her early work from the 1980s when she began showing in Paris. It was oversized, asymmetric, black became the colour associated with her. It was so revolutionary. All of the questions that she raises every season about identity and beauty and femininity can be located in her early work from the 1980s. So the Model Multiple looks at one particular collection, Abstract Excellence, which was a collection of 34 skirts. The illusion is of uniformity and the idea of one skirt, but every single skirt was different. We have one section in the exhibition called High Low that's really about street style through two particular collections, Motorbike Ballerina and Bad Taste. Ray described Motorbike Ballerina as Holly Davidson meets Margot Fontaine. It's a collection that combined tutus with biker jackets, so again fusing two types of garments, but also conflating notions of elite and popular culture. In her collection, Bad Taste, she conflates both punk and fetish styles into one garment using seemingly cheap materials like polyester. And then we have a section called Then Now, looking at Ray's approach to time and temporality. Ray consistently argues that she doesn't look back, so her engagement with history is a constant rejection and redefinition of it. The garments in Then Now look at her engagement with particular historical garments. She has an affinity to the 19th century and particularly the overblown silhouettes created by crinolines and bustles. Part of that section is also looking at one's own temporal progression through life, traditionally associated with the rights of birth, marriage, death. Self-other looks at the idea of hybrid identities. And within self-other, there's three subsections, child-adult, male-female, and east-west. In East West, Ray is using both Eastern traditions with Western traditions of clothing, tailoring and draping combined in one ensemble. Within the male female category, she'll fuse together two garments that are traditionally associated with either sex, either a skirt or a trousers, which she'll morph into one ensemble. Her 2D collection bridged the gap between child adults, usually made out of a felt type of material. It was all about age-appropriate dressing and this idea of playfulness. We have a section called Object Subject, which is more about hybrid bodies, where the dress and the body becomes one. One of her most radical collections, even to this day, was her 1997 collection Dress Meets Body, Body Meets Dress. It included padded structures made out of goose down feathers that completely disfigured the body. So it was a celebration of deformity, which was challenging with these normative conventions of beauty. It still stands out as one of the most provocative collections, more so because often it was done in very childlike and sweet bubblegum pink gingham. The final section in the exhibition is a section called Clothes Not Clothes. It focuses mainly on her last eight collections, which Ray feels are the result of this radical rupture in her design process in spring 2014, where she began to see fashion as objects on the body. It's more akin to conceptual art or performance art. It wasn't really about wearability. Prior to that, her clothing always was viable as clothing. So she still doesn't define herself as an artist, but she's been forced to enter the debate of art and fashion. What we always try to do in our exhibitions is to encourage people to think differently about the boundaries of fashion. I think people will have to work hard. The design itself is challenging and the objects contained therein are also challenging. But I think people will come away from the exhibition rethinking the art of the in-between. 
Ray is this figure who is about originality. Every single season, she reinvents herself and reinvents fashion.